What's up guys, I'm in 2110 here and I'm bringing you a unboxing of this, the Elder Scrolls Anthology, which I picked up on Amazon for £35 and it comes in this nice box. It's all, it's Arena, Dagger 4, Morrowind, Oblivion and Skyrim, all all in the same bundle, which is quite nice. It comes in this nice uh, box, it comes in a glossy case as well, which shows, I'll grab that here, shows the uh, all the games on the back, but I took it off because it's just clear on the front, so it reflects the background which no one wants to see. So there you have it. It says there we get Arena, Dagger 4, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, and it also includes the Tribunal and Blood Moon expansion for Morrowind, the Knights of Nine of Shivering Isles for Oblivion, and then Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn for Skyrim, and it also includes a detailed map for each which you got if you bought them all individually on disc. So this is the actual box itself. It's very well detailed, it has the Skyrim Imperial symbol on the back and also on the front and sides it looks would look nice on a bookcase so what we do with this is we uh, get it out like that it comes in this well it comes in a very nice fonded book actually it's quite for 40 quid you're definitely getting a very good offer here and you open it like that and it brings up arena i'll see if i can put all that in the display for you there yep arena there we are a bit of a rejig with the camera and it shows some background uh, art there and then we open it out here and it contains Arena which they've put Arena and Daggerfall on a disc which considering their age is quite an achievement for them to do I'm very pleased with Bethesda have done that uh, you've got on here snapshots from inside the actual game itself and then the disc there I've never played uh, Arena and Daggerfall so I'm looking forward to enjoying playing through them and as I say here's the one for Daggerfall again with the uh, disc there itself also once again put onto a disc and then the map itself there and then some screenshots as well one of the screenshots I think on all of them is the map uh, don't quote me on that and then the first section Morrowind has two sections there we are with uh, screenshots once again and then that's the Morrowind game disc itself there and then that's a construction set I'm not too sure what the construction set entails I didn't I just got the standard edition of Morrowind for the original Xbox and then the second one of Morrowind here is the Blood Moon and the Tribunal DLCs which are just also obviously add-on downloadable discs. Uh, we then flip over here to Oblivion which is my favourite game of all time. It was one, well the first Bethesda game I got and as it's a game of the year disc there, disc 1 has all, well is the standard game and disc 2 is the Shivering Owls and Knights of the Night content or at least it was on the Xbox 360 and then here we are, the last piece, the last game is Skyrim and obviously you have a big improvement in the graphics there with the standard promotional screenshots and then as we can see here if we compare that to Arena Bethesda have moved on quite a lot with the uh, graphically with the Old Scrolls games. I'm guessing all DLCs on the one disc, as we only do get the one. So yeah, we flip over to the very last bit, and it comes. It's this sort of setup here, which comes with a better code for the Old Scrolls Online. I'll just flip that around out of camera. Yes, no, there isn't a code on the back, but this is a basically free invitation to sign up for the Elder Scrolls better so that's quite a nice little feature I'll be using that and this is just your standard instruction manual safety reading and stuff that no one listens to and now this is quite a nice set it's not on the parchment style like the um, Skyrim map that's it the Skyrim map was but uh, here we have all of the maps for all of the games. For example, there is the Provinces of Cyrodiil one, the Oblivion map, which I've just noticed you can't see uh, fully on the camera, so that's always good. Now let's move that over to the side there. And then you have the map for this, I believe, is Arena's map. Yes, it is. This is Arena's map, so this is all of them. You've got uh, Cyrodiil there in the middle, Skyrim, Morrowind, Black Marsh, Elsewhere, and there's the Somerset Isle, which, of course, because Morrowind, not Morrowind, Arena was all of them, all of the holds, and the actual other games themselves were just uh, in, like, well, zoomed in versions of them. There is the map for, I believe that's Morrowind, and that is Daggerfall, and then this one is 
the Skyrim one, not on parchment like the uh, Skyrim map was for the console, which I thought was a very nice feature actually. I'm a bit disappointed that they're not on parchment, but you know, then again, it is a set for 40 quid, which is a very, very good offer. I'll stress that once again. So, that was my unboxing slash, well, slash review of the Elder Scrolls Anthology. And uh, basically, guys, if you are a fan of the Elder Scrolls or fantasy games in general, I would suggest picking this up. It was only 40 quid for me, there or thereabouts on Amazon. I don't know what the equivalent is in other stores, however, it is only for the PC. So, if you're looking to get this thing, you've only got an Xbox or PS3. Terribly sorry guys, but you can't, it's only for the PC. Uh, I'm going to be enjoying playing a lot of these games again, especially uh, Morrowind and Oblivion. It gives me an excuse to play through them again. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.